Because if you're actually bringing your own thoughts and beliefs into it, you can't really help somebody else find their solutions. So if you really want to get your clients results, which will dramatically start to grow your business, you have to know the difference between mentoring and coaching. Because there are times when you need to lean into being more of a coach, and there's times that you need to lean in to become more of a mentor. The problem is, is when you get those times wrong, you'll notice that your clients aren't getting the incredible results that both you and they want. And sometimes that can start to get you to feel frustrated or even resentful, all of which ways we don't want to feel towards our clients. So let's start off. What's the difference between coaching and mentoring? Mentoring is using your personal experience or your past to help someone else. It's basically you giving them the roadmap that you followed to get to where you are. Now, this is great, especially if you're working with action takers. But if you find that those people aren't taking the actions you're giving them, it's time to stop mentoring and it's time to lean into coaching. Coaching is the art of asking powerful questions to find out exactly why people are stuck. You can get to the actual root cause that is preventing them from taking action. Because ultimately, when you're able to discover this for them, it gets them into taking more action and creating more results. So you may be wondering, like, when is it time that I should mentor and when is it time to coach? And how do I get started if I really don't know how to coach? Well, if you're ready to learn how to create even more results in your clients' lives, that is the purpose of this video. And if you're ready to lean in, let's go. So welcome to Modern Leadership, where we see things differently. We help entrepreneurs become modern leaders so they can excel in their personal and professional life without sacrificing family time or burning themselves out. If you're new, consider subscribing. So let's tackle this first. When is the right time to coach and when is the right time to mentor? Now, here's three situations that you absolutely want to coach someone. Number one is whenever you first start out, helping them identify what they really want. So if you have somebody who has a very specific goal they want to create, actually sitting down and helping them define that helps give them a ton of clarity so they can stop feeling confused or overwhelmed and start taking more action. Number two is you give them an action to take and they come back and they haven't taken that action. That's when you need to jump in and see why it is that they're not taking action. With powerful questions, you can really get to the root of why they are holding themselves back. Now with this one in particular, a lot of people will give them another set of instructions or actions to take and really not get to the cause of why they didn't take that in the first place. Don't allow yourself to do that. And the third situation is you realize your client is using shame, guilt, or humiliation to get themselves to show up. There's just a certain energy that comes when they put the blame and the energy on themselves in a very negative way. So if you find them saying, I should have done this or I should have done that, It's time to lean into coaching and not mentoring. Now, these are three situations in which mentoring is best. So number one is kind of the flip side of what I discussed earlier. The person actually took action on your previous advice. So if your client is taking action, that means we need to lean more into mentoring and help them even further. The more actions they take, that means that there's not a lot of things that are holding them back. So this is a great way to give them additional advice and just go back and forth and see how else they can progress. The second time that you want to mentor is when you come across somebody who's never done that specific thing before. For example, if somebody comes to me and they want to know how to coach or they want to know how to put together a webinar, but they've never done that before, I can 100% give them some of the steps. I just want to make sure that the next time we have a conversation that I check in to make sure that they actually took action. As long as they're taking action, just like Teresa talked about, we want to continue to give them the steps and continue to mentor them to their version of success. So number three is after you've actually coached them, you always want to coach first because you want to see if there are any things that they can work on. So mentoring is really the second step. This is where you start to focus on performance. You want to really know that nothing is actually holding them back and you can guide them on the right path. So how do you get started with coaching if you have no idea what you're doing? One of the most important elements of coaching is to get curious. Really, it's about asking questions to help them determine their why. It's also used to find out what is actually holding people back. Many a times, it's the thoughts or the stories that they're thinking that is actually preventing them from taking action. And just becoming curious as to why this is happening or why they did or did not take the action is going to be helpful for everybody. Also, when you're coaching, you want to make sure that you leave your opinions and beliefs away from the conversation. When you're coaching, it's really all about your client. 
you want to make sure that you don't implant any thoughts or beliefs that may steer them in the wrong direction. That one's really hard. We call it staying out of the pool because if you're actually bringing your own thoughts and beliefs into it, you can't really help somebody else find their solutions. And the third thing you want to do is very similar to the last one. And that is like not steer them in a specific direction that you want them to go. You could very easily start to ask questions that are steering them in a certain direction, but that's not real true coaching. True coaching is asking them questions just because you're curious, not because you have a direction that you want them to go. You want them to come to their conclusions because they'll have more of a buy-in and they'll be more up to taking consistent action. So you might get to this point and you might want a deeper understanding of how to coach others. Don't worry, we got you covered. I'll leave this next video for you, what a life coach actually does, for you to check out and dive deeper. Thank you for being here and keep leading from the front leaders. Bye. Bye.